show you 15 Android apps that will completely change the way you use your phone, starting with an app that lets you play YouTube with the screen off. Okay, so this app is called Black Screen, and once you've installed it and opened it up, all you need to do is enable the black screen, and then you'll see this little lock icon on your home screen. Luckily, you can move it anywhere on your screen just by clicking and holding down, and then when you're ready to listen to music, a podcast, or any video on YouTube, open it up, hit that play button, and when you're ready, click the lock icon, and your screen will turn off. This seriously helps save your battery, and also nice when you're listening to music at night. So, Verpan, now you don't even need YouTube Premium if you want to listen to music for hours with your screen off. Pretty cool. So did you know there is an app for ridiculously long screenshots? It's called Screen Master and once you've installed and opened the app, you just need to activate it by clicking that power button. And just like the previous app, you have this little floating icon that you can move to anywhere on the screen. Then what you can do is open any app whatsoever, click the screenshot icon, then just tap on stitch. And now every time you click that plus icon, it'll scroll down and take another screenshot. Finally, when you're all done and happy with the length, just click on auto stitch and it'll automatically stitch everything together. So this app allows you to take a scrolling screenshot, make it as long as you want and in any app. <laughs> Okay, now with this app, you can add some awesome edge lighting effects to your music and notifications. The app is called Muvis Edge, and the minute you open it up, you instantly see that edge lighting effect. To make sure those edge lighting effects work, just make sure you toggle on these three settings, and then you can start customizing your edge panel look. There are so many different free ones to choose from, as well as some paid options. And on top of that, you can also choose from a bunch of different custom colors. Once you're done, just click apply, and now every time you play music or get a notification, you'll see this amazing edge lighting effect. Okay, but now let's add some music to your wallpaper with this app. So it's called Diffuse. This is what the app icon looks like. And once you open it up, what you're gonna do is tap on Set Wallpaper and at the bottom, click Set Wallpaper once more and decide whether you want it for your home screen or home and lock screen. Finally, you're gonna toggle on Live Beats and you can also decide on the strength you want for your wallpaper. And what this app does is it takes the album artwork of whatever song you're listening to and uses it as a diffused wallpaper on your phone. So every time a brand new song plays on Spotify or even Apple Music, your wallpaper will completely change. <laughs> So if you know Apple, they have this super useful AirDrop, but what about Android? Well, other than nearby share, they can get SnapDrop. Not only is this app unbelievably useful, it's also so easy to use. On the Android phone, all you need to do is open up the app and on iPhone, just go to snapdrop.net. Each device is given a unique name and to transfer files, just tap on the other device name, select your file and in seconds it is sent. Transferring files between an Android and iPhone device have literally never been so easy. And of course, to transfer back, you just do the exact same thing. In a snap, they'll receive the file. You can just click save and then you're done. So it's actually really simple. You can send and receive any file to any device and there is no size limit so long as you're all connected to the same Wi-Fi. Now that is pretty nifty. Now let's take a look at some sweet full screen gestures. The app is literally called Full Screen Gestures and once you open it up, you'll see a couple of different gesture options you can make just by swiping from the edge of your screen. So you can choose whether you want to take a screenshot, change the volume or even open up the power menu. And so how this app works is it gives you a bunch of different gesture movements that you can map to whatever you want. So if I swipe from the bottom left, it'll take a screenshot or bottom right, it'll open up the power menu. If you wanted even more gestures, you can get a bunch of different ones with this app. It's called Super Status Bar and you basically can hack your entire status bar. Once you open the app, you'll see a ton of different gestures and settings you can choose from. Once you've decided what you want, click the start button and now if you swipe along your status bar, you can change your screen brightness or if you double tap it, it'll lock your screen. There are literally hundreds of different settings you can choose from and not only that, you can also decide on the start of your status bar, whether you want it to be thick, a different color, or even different icons. 
Now, how about an app to specifically control all your media? It's called Media Bar and it's kind of similar to the previous app. Once you open it up, make sure you toggle on Media Bar and now, no matter what media you open up, whether it's Apple Music, YouTube, or even Spotify, as soon as you click the play button, this bar appears at the top of the screen and shows you how far the media is. You can actually use it to quickly scrub through your media and not only that, within the settings, you can also decide on the bar thickness, whether you want it at the top, bottom, or even gradient colors. There is also so much more to this app, so you definitely need to check it out. <laughs> Now with this app, you can navigate through your whole phone using just panels. Once again, this is an unbelievably useful app and I know a ton of you will love it. Once you open up the app, make sure you activate it. And once that is done, you'll notice this really small sidebar appear on your screen. But now what happens is when you swipe on it, it opens up the side panel and you can access just about any application. You can choose which apps you wanna have in your side panel. You can search through every single app you have on your phone, or you can even even add widgets just by clicking, holding down and adding one of your favorite widgets. Once you've decided on which one you want, like Spotify for example, you can even adjust the size just by clicking, holding down and dragging that bar. There are so many different things you can do, so if your phone doesn't come with the sidebar, now you can just add panels and you're good to go. Now this super cool app allows you to change and customize the look of your volume panel. Once you click on skins, you'll see a bunch of free as well as some paid options. And as soon as you found the one you like, go ahead, tap on it. And literally within a couple of seconds, you have a brand new custom looking volume panel. Not only does it change the look of the single volume bar, but the entire panel itself. And it also changes depending on dark or light mode. And this is pretty cool because you get to choose from a bunch of different looking skins. So with this app, you can measure your Wi-Fi signal, but in AR. Here's what the app icon looks like. And honestly, this is probably one of my favorite apps. So how it works is when you're out in public or even at home, you can search out the best Wi-Fi, but also see where the best spot is for the best signal. You can see the connection speed, the connection signal, and even the ping. Man, that is super useful. <laughs> What could also be pretty useful is a burner email. And you can get one with this app. It's called a temp mail, and as the name would suggest, it is a temporary email. When you first open the app, it prompts you to go premium, but just click the X button, and now you have a temporary email. You can send and receive any amount of emails over this email address and use it for coupon codes, discount codes, or whatever. So how this app works is very simple. It generates a random and temporary email address that you can use however you want, and when you're done, simply burn the old one and grab a new one. Just keep in mind, this email address will only stay activated for two hours, but after that, you can click change and get a completely new one. So something that can help with subscriptions is subscriptions. Here's what the app looks like, and it is so cool because it literally helps you track every single subscription you currently have. As soon as you have a new subscription, click that plus icon, then put in the value amount, as well as the subscription name, date, you can color code it, and then as soon as you press save, it's added to your list. You can then see the yearly, monthly, or even weekly amount that all your subscriptions are totaling to. You can also add custom notifications on when to cancel a subscription or when it'll debit your account again, and you can even sort or filter through them by name, price, or billing date. So a lot of people really love that assistive touch button you can get on iPhones, but did you know you can also get it on Androids? The app is conveniently named Assistive Touch, and once you open it up, you'll just need to activate it, and then the Assistive Touch icon will appear on your screen. You can move or position it to any way you want, and once you tap on it, you can now access all the different settings. It honestly makes navigating your phone so easy, and it's unbelievable how many different things you can do with it. To customize and change the settings, you simply open up the app and click on custom menu. The only kind of annoying thing with this app is it is filled with a lot of ads, but luckily they only pop up when changing settings. So yeah, still pretty nifty. <laughs>
Now I know I am definitely not the only one who struggles to touch the top of the screen, but with this app Quick Cursor, you can change that. Once you open the app and click Start, the app will be activated and now anytime you swipe from the right hand side of the screen, you get this little cursor that you can use to navigate or select anything on the top of your screen. It is amazingly responsive and works so well, you could even use it on an Android tablet. It definitely makes reaching the top of the screen a million times easier. So let me know which one of these app hacks you found the most useful and I'm pretty sure you'll find a couple more right over here. But I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!